I wish I'd, I wish I'd enjoyed it a bit more rather than be mm. serious, serious, serious. Because I feel that's one of the advice I give to any young player now is enjoy it, like have fun with it. Because that when you're having fun with it, you're, that's when you're going to get the best out of you know. Like that's that's when you 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 play with freedom. You play you express yourself. That's when you you, you do your best work. So I get that. Like it kind of did take a bit of the the fun element out of it. really seen or heard of a family like yours to be honest like a sporting family maybe you could say like the Nevilles you know Williams <laughs> Serena Williams Venus Williams <laughs> but just talk about your family and like how did they all get into sport and how did that kind of inspire you to get into sport uh yeah so um my little brother he's uh he's a whole at the moment uh, he's actually on loan at Cheltenham, so Cheltenham are in the playoffs. So he's got his first game on uh, Thursday. Wicked. So uh, he's been back training, which is which is quality for him, and he's done really well at Cheltenham uh, for the. I think he's been there six months for the whole year. Well, it, might, it might be in the whole season actually. I'm not sure, but yeah, he's done really well there. So Max is obviously a footballer, uh, and then uh, my two older brothers they played um, beach volleyball for Great Britain for together for quite a few years. Um, and they now they now one then one went to and done a bit of rowing and then he went to the army but now he works for the like analysis company called Huddle so still kind of a bit sporty and then Jake the second oldest he still does volleyball he's still looking to go to the Commonwealth Games and on the side of that he runs his own kind of um, beach volleyball business and like the UK beach tour and things like that and he's got his own business called Deep Dish um, and then probably yeah probably down to my parents to be honest because they're both quite you know kept fit they're physically they were both PE teachers. Um, Mum played for Great Britain volleyball and she was younger. Dad was just, a, he, he, was, he played all sorts of sports. He was a good sprinter. He played football at county level, I think. Um, so I guess it was kind of, with parents like that, you kind of, yeah, you, you're you going to produce kids who, who like sport at least. Um, and yeah, I just think, you know, growing up, having, well, three brothers, like four boys, it was literally like so competitive, you know, like, Growing up, there was plenty of fights, plenty of tears. Um, and I think you just got to like, you know, it makes you kind of be a bit emotionless in a way, like kind of like just be, you know, oh, got to win, got to win, got to win. And I think that that kind of, you know, is ingrained in all of us and drove us to do like, quite well at what we did, I guess. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of, I guess, just that's what, you know, um, drove us to, to, to be who we are and get to where we are. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was uh, there was a lot of fights and tears, as I said, but you know, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have changed it for, for the world because I've got a great great relationship with all of them now, you know. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Yeah, at forty two five eight, we're proud to present you with the best football specific content. We work with many companies and many ballers to give you, the viewers, the best content possible. You, the viewer, we're always looking to help you improve your skill set. In order for you to improve your skill set and for us to keep making these videos, please click the link down below and buy some equipment. The equipment helps us run this channel and also you subscribing to the channel helps us producing more of these videos to help you with your skill set and your knowledge of the game. Thank you for supporting 4258. So how did your parents let you choose? Did they just put out different types of balls on the on the ground and then when you're a baby you just crawled to one of them how did it work i don't know to be honest like we, they were all they always encouraged us just to 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 just go and like express ourselves wherever that may be where they, i don't think they, they were bothered if it was you know table tennis volleyball rugby like we, i played we played all sports all of us did up until kind of you know i'd say secondary school where you start kind of specialising a bit and like like at primary school, oh, yeah, you're the best at everything, you're the best at everything. But then when you get secondary school, then you get some good sprinters, you get the good rugby players, you get, you know, you think, right, yeah. And then you start playing rugby in year seven, you're getting smashed. You're like, yeah, you know what? I don't think this is me. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, but I think they just, they never forced anything on us. Like, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. It was just kind of natural that, 
me and Max gravitated towards football and you know Luke and Jake were more volleyball and things like that and rugby they were um but no they were they never forced anything on us but as I said like I think with four boys it kind of you know you're looking for arguments you're looking for fights because you know it's, it's just going to be competitive so yeah what kind of advice did you get from your parents growing up then seeing as they played football as well yeah, sorry not yeah. football sports sports as well um, it was it was like I guess at times, uh, you know, if they never if they saw us n- like not putting a hundred percent in, that's when they'd kind of not tell us off, but you'd know they'd be disappointed in you. And feeling that disappointment had probably more of an effect on you as a kid than them shouting at you in a way. You know, mm-hmm. like you, they, like just not not giving a hundred percent, and them seeing that that that's when they'd kind of have an issue, I guess, with you, like saying, come on, like, we're not going to bring you away to training and you're not training your artists. Like, you know, like that's, 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 that's not, that's not the way we want you to, well, not the way you want you to be, but that's just not good enough, you know? But as long as we gave a hundred percent, they were happy. Um, and, you know, that kind of, I guess, made all of us think, you know, we've got to work our absolute nuts off if we're going to have any chance of getting to the top of anything that we want to do. Um, so that definitely was one of the main fa- kind of things that my parents told me, you know, um, but it kind of made me a bit kind of serious as a child. I've always, I was always quite like serious and like, mm-hmm. and it kind of took the fun out of things as a, as a kid in a way, which is, which is kind of one of the things I look back on and think, mm, like, I wish I'd, I wish I'd enjoyed it a bit more rather than be mm-hmm. serious, serious, serious. Cause I feel that's one of the advice I give to any young player now is enjoy it, like have fun with it. Cause that's when you're having fun with it, you're, that's when you're going to get the best out of, you know, like that's that's when you 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 play with freedom. You play you express yourself. That's when you, you you do your best work. So I get that. Like it kind of did take a bit of the the fun element out of it. But then I wouldn't say I take it back because being that way got me to where I am now. But now looking back, I go oh maybe I would do it different. Mm. But like I can change that now in a way. I can try and have a bit more fun with it now and see where that takes me. You know, you kind of it's almost doing the reverse of what you was is grained as you as a kid. If you know what I mean. So. Yeah, hundred percent. I always say, really, you know, don't have any regrets. You you can't get that time again, but you can Definitely. you can redo it again. You know what I mean? Type of thing. Yeah, you can learn from it at least. You know, like it's not it's not, not going to change. I wouldn't say I regret it, but I'm 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 grateful for the fact that I recognise that, and I can kind of you know do what I can to put it right in a way now. I guess yeah. Exactly. Um, just talk on you know your mom and your brother both playing volleyball I, I don't know anyone playing volleyball in England to be honest so could, yeah. you, could you shed any light on their their careers and what countries they've played in and things like that yeah so they, they, they've been all over the world really especially Jake like it's, it's difficult with volleyball because there's not as much money in it uh, as um as football but you'd be surprised I think there's, a, there's some sort of stat that volleyball, like beach volleyball is one of like the highest played sports in the world, believe it or not. I'm sure there's oh. something like that. But um, yeah, there's not as much funding in, in beach volleyball. So it was always tough to go to the tours around the world mm-hmm. and things like that, um, which was kind of, especially Great Britain's not, it was not renowned for being the best volleyball players in the world as it is, which made it even tougher. Um, so yeah, having that funding really kind of, it was, it was a struggle for them at times because, you want funding to go to the tournaments to then qualify for the big events, and then that that way you get to you go to the Olympics and stuff like that. Um, so it was definitely a, a struggle for them, but you know they made, they they did the best they could. It was really frustrating for them at times because uh, I do believe if they did have real good funding, they would have been able to probably make it at the top top level. But um, you know it, it is what it is, and and you know the, Jake's doing the best he can now to kind of still do what he can, plus having his own business and Luke kind of. I guess he got a bit fed up with it and kind of was like, you know what, I've had enough of this, so I'm going to move on, which he did, and, and he's enjoying his life now. So, yeah. Sounds, sounds it's good. Man. It's worlds apart. It's worlds apart from kind of the football business, I guess. But, um, yeah. Yeah, sounds good, though. It sounds like, you know, everyone's passionate about what they do and everyone's doing it for, for the right reasons. Moving okay. on, uh, you just touched on your start, how you got into football. So, how was it for you? Was it, you know, just like, okay, I'm playing football now. This is what I want to do. Did you know that back then? Or was it just like, I'm good at it, so I'm going to 
and try to be the best. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like I, like I said earlier, I loved all sports, but football was the one for me that I was like, I enjoyed the most and I was probably like the best at it in a way and, and probably because I enjoyed it the most, I was the best at it. But um, yeah, football was the one and I kind of, you know, that was the one I'd always want. I, if anything, it would always be a football that I wanted to play. So if it, if it was at a beach playing volleyball, I'd be doing the keep ups with the volleyball. Do you know what I mean? It was one of them ones like, oh, why don't yeah. we play with our feet, sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, it was always football for me. And then um, yeah, I guess that kind of like I, I can't remember. I, it's one of them where like I was kind of my, my first memories of football like was when I was I don't know, I guess I was tiny, sort of thing. From mm. kind of but from when I can remember, really, I, I always enjoyed football. Um, and Who's then, your yeah, first team? Just... Sorry, mate. Who was your first team? You played my first for? team. I supported. I supported Liverpool. Believe it or not, because my dad supported Liverpool. Um, but then my first team when I was younger was I played for Springfield, um, little team called Springfield, and then just got scouted. That was like under six, sevens, I think, and I got scouted at like under eights. Then you do like the pre academy stuff, and I was between like Cholton and West Ham at the time. Okay. Um, and then uh, I chose West Ham and I was at West Ham from like under nines till under 16s or 15s, just before you, you're a scholar. Um, you know, and West Ham, like I had a good sort of, you know, footballing upbringing there. Um, that, that was always nice. But I remember always play like, we never used to play against Arsenal for a while. And, but when we did, did start to play more Chelsea, I remember they were always just the best teams. You remember thinking, oh, like, I want to play against them ones. But you always used to lose because they had the best players on it. Mm. So then, obviously, when Arsenal were interested in me when I was at West Ham, it was kind of like, oh, I've got to go there because I want to be with the best players. I want to be in the best team. So, um, yeah, I made that move to Arsenal. And then, um, you know, I, I knew a few players there. But, yeah, obviously, the level is going to be better. You're, at, you're, at, you're in nicer facilities. You're, you're with better players. A lot of the players there are already kind of like youth international sort of thing. Um so yeah, and then it was kind of like moved. I've always lived away from home, as you know. I kind of lived in digs of you for a bit. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So that was yeah, that wasn't really an issue. But um, and yeah, then I just I've been at Arsenal. I think for oh, six six years now. Six years. And then, mate, honestly, it's flown by. Scary, scary. For more content like this, like, share, and subscribe. Mm-hmm.